Jeez Louise, I'm sorry it's taken me so long. My computer's giving me trouble not letting me uh, load the pictures off my camera. I think I'll finally get to uh, put a video up. It's going to be a series of short videos. You were an interesting person. Thank you for being here. Seven North Goodman. We are walking. We are walking. We are walking in the footsteps of Louise Brooks. She walked skipped or danced this way because from 1962 till her death in 1985 Louise Brooks was retired in Rochester and this is where she lived this was her home it's not a bad place you can see this semi brownstone next to it so 1962 versus 2019, this is a then and now shot. It's 6.15 in the morning because I don't want to get the traffic taking over the video. Nice house made out of Lockport, Dola Stone, our native Lockport crops out here. It's July 18th, 2019. Just doing a quick pan on uh, today's buildings versus 1962 to 1985. And there's 7 North Goodman. I uh, kind of stumbled upon her gravestone a year ago. And it's taken me this long to actually put something together. So I'll do the this will probably be in the first part, a teaser for later on. First part of a multi-part series of short videos on Louise Brook. Louise Brooks was retired in Rochester. We're looking south on Goodman Street. We are using the library voice because we're going into the local history section of the library. Good morning, this is Mark Kant email. I'm collecting some digital footage. Finish up some videos I haven't built yet. Last July, July 2018, I went to Holy Sepulchre Cemetery to look up the grave of Patrick Berry. Um, this sign tells us Al Wanger and Barry donated the land to Highland Park for land. They donated the land that became Highland Park to the city for our park. This is where we have the Lilac Festival. They uh, were leaders in the community. They did so much for the early city of Rochester. The Mount Hope Cemetery where I have my coffee, it's just loaded with people. I know their history. 
part of people's history is where they ended up. And it gives a list of prominent men. Robert Volk was retired executive director of the Holy Sepulchre Cemetery, currently a volunteer arch archives diocese of Rochester. He's the author. There he is, Robert Volk. Okay. And this is cool because it's before the guys. I visited relatives on Patrick Berry's side. I went on the other side of uh, Lake Avenue where my grandparents are buried. Out of eight graves, I found six in a quick flurry of activity. But while I had this pamphlet, I says, geez, weren't Oh, I know her. I've seen her movies. She's buried here? Wow. And that started... Uh, started a search. Okay. 